Good morning, guys. It is actually morning when I'm starting this vlog. I'm giving myself a pat on the back because it's the third day in a row I'm vlogging. Um, I feel like, I don't know, I just got so behind with vlogging every single day, but I feel like Jack is on a schedule to where I'm able to do that now. Um, like he's, I don't know how to explain it. His sleeping schedule is more predictable. Anyway, I don't feel very good this morning. I slept, I don't think I slept at all last night. I didn't, I know I didn't. Zoe says she didn't sleep at all last night either. I just, Jack was like doing this thing where like, he would be asleep and then 10 minutes later he'd kind of wake up and go like, eh, eh, eh. Like, so Jack wasn't sleeping good either. But and my throat was hurting and then I kept coughing so every time I would cough I would wake up Jack and then the room was too hot I don't know I just didn't feel great last night um I don't know I think it's like I don't know what it is you guys I just didn't sleep good there may be absolutely no reason for it other than I couldn't sleep but I'm trying to just stay awake today and not take a nap because I think my sleeping schedule is just so messed up and I came upstairs at 10 o'clock. Yeah, it was like 11. Zoe came up at like 11 and was saying like she couldn't sleep either. So, I don't know. Anyway, you know when you don't sleep good, like you wake up and your body's kind of just all sore and just not feeling good. And I think that's why I don't feel good today, just because I didn't cold? sleep. No, I'm not cold. cold. I do have the house really cold though for Jack because he finally went to sleep. And I really want him to take a good nap because he is just so crabby crabby. Anyway, Piper is sitting here playing on her tablet. And there's is this keys. So bad? It is a school night, Narkees. Are you just like so excited? Yep. It is a school night. I swear you guys, every day this summer he has asked me if it was a school night and I can finally tell him yes, it is a school night. We got their backpacks packed Game. last night. Game. And we're gonna Game again. Game, not right now, buddy. Um, and we're gonna get baths later and we're gonna pick out our school clothes. And you've got to catch the bus in the morning. Morning? You so excited? Yeah. He is like pumped for school, you guys. I'm pumped. In the bus. Huh? Bah. Bath, yeah, we're gonna get baths tonight before bed. Whew. Did you sleep good last night, Narkees? Uh huh. You did. I didn't. I'm glad you slept good, though. Thousand dollars? It was. <laughs> so, Zoe, I was telling Zoe that I really wanted to get Narkees an iPad because I think the iPad might work better for him. He has a knobby, but like it freezes up like he every time he tries to play a game he touches so many things that the knobby will just freeze up and i need i need something that will just lock into a game and not allow him to touch anything else and i don't know if there is something like that but yeah his knobby does not work well for that so really all he can do on it is like music and movies and like supervised games hang on betty let mama let mama tell the story real quick okay, okay. your shirt's on backwards <laughs> um so zoe was saying like we've had iPads before and I was telling her how our iPad got stolen when we were in Ukraine um, adopting the boys we were at the train station and we were rushing like Asa had like two things of luggage and I had on the backpack and when you are adopting children in Ukraine you have to have cash you have to have like new American dollars um, and so we had thirty thousand dollars in cash on us <laughs> And it was like the scariest thing like having that money and we had a like a money belt that we were supposed to wear Around our waist. Well, we were in such a hurry leaving the apartment in Kiev to get to the train to get to their region that I just threw everything in our backpack and we were following our translator and we're just running 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 through the train station like we were gonna miss our train and as we were running we had to stop we were kind of stalled for a little bit going down the escalator and at that point I guess it was at that point somebody a pit pocketer got into my backpack as I was wearing it and stole my iPad now 
it seems like a big tragedy that the iPad would be stolen. However, because I was in such a hurry, I had the $30,000 literally right beside the iPad. But it, we had the $30,000 in the money belt literally right beside the iPad. And just the simple like swift of hand, if they, they could have easily grabbed that $30,000 instead of grabbing the iPad. And I remember getting on the train and initially being so upset that our iPad had been stolen because we had video on it. Turn that down, baby. Pipey, turn that down. I'm trying. Cause we had video on it from like our first few days. We had like the plane, like we were trying to like vlog via the iPad a lot and we lost a ton of footage. Um, and then as we were sitting there and I was going through the backpack, I saw the $30,000 in the money thing and I was like, oh my gosh, like that was like an awesome, amazing blessing. Um, it was an actual like huge godsend that they took that iPad and they didn't take that $30,000 because had they taken that $30,000, we would have had to get on a plane and go back home. Yeah. It took us over a year to raise and save up that much money um, in order to bring them home. And I don't know, we just were like so thankful. <laughs> and I was like, you can have the iPad. That's okay, keep the iPad. But uh, yeah, we did. There, are, there were a lot of pit pocketers in Ukraine at that time. And that was just when everything in Ukraine was starting to kind of, you know, go downhill a little bit. Um, and we were kind of there right at the beginnings of all of that. So there were a lot of people um, in Kiev from varying regions that normally weren't there. So while Kiev is normally a very safe place, um, <laughs> the time we were there, it was maybe a little less safe. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, and, and I, asked I don't know you, if I've told you guys that story before. Or and not. I had asked you if you could bring me and you said no. They Lots of people there like little blonde-headed <laughs> girls. Yeah, well, it's not safe, you know, to, and, and some people do bring their kids when they adopt other children, and that's fine, but being very unfamiliar with the terrain and the society and everything, we just did not feel safe bringing our, bringing our kids, and I'm glad we didn't because it would have been, it would have been very difficult if we had brought them. So, Piper, what is your chore? Sorting out this stuff. Mm-hmm. So, the shoe rack kind of becomes a clutter catcher. So I told Piper she needs to clean out all these bins, put all the trash in the trash bag. We need to wipe out the bins and the shelf and all that good stuff, huh? And you guys, I don't know if I even showed you guys, these are our chairs. They, are, they were found at a thrift store and they are actually like conference chairs, but they're really nice, like sturdy chairs and they all match and I have some table risers ordered so we can raise the table so that these will actually push under the table but and then of course this one has a towel on it because that's where keys eats <laughs> and she's distracted Piper 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 stay focused stay focused of course she found a toy and now she's like Losing interest in the cleaning aspect. Mm -hmm. All right, get keep going. Don't play with the toy. And then I have these two in here working on clothes. Zoe's not feeling it. Come on! I don't feel good. <laughs> look at Keys. He's like, come on, sissy. We got this. Come on! Hey, I watch a channel on YouTube YouTube called The Fry Life, and one of the things they say is, "Do what you think you can't do." That's a good motto. That's like a good life motto, huh? No, but I'm super, I don't, I'm super deep, I don't feel good. I don't feel good either. And I didn't sleep like at all last night, but I'm still doing stuff. So if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah, he wants to play hide and seek with daddy. Keys, what's today? Y'all ignore the messiness of our basement. <laughs> what? What's today? Flower. Flower. What's today? The school. School. Are you so excited? Yeah. Yes. I like your teach for it to be good. You excited for school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your? What are you most excited about? Your hair already looks messy. My friends, though. and that's it. Just your friends. Hey, yes. run up and get the hairbrush. Your hair is already looking. Super oh, and messy. mama. I can't believe we sleep, we sleep in the basement. Huh? We sleep in the basement. Yeah. 
No. I didn't know that this was a basement. Well, I mean, it's not like a basement basement. It's just downstairs. It's not underground or anything. Um, our room is. Kind of. Huh. Um, switch with Piper. Miss Coker! That, that's not your teacher. First grade. <laughs> yeah. Well, Miss Coker is still there. Yeah, but she's not your teacher this year, is she? No. No. Even when I first met her, I got shy. You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all have a new teacher this year. So the girls um, missed open house this year <clears throat> because they were at camp. So we actually don't know who their new teacher is, so. Did you even get a letter? They, I did not. I checked the mailbox. You'll just have to ask someone. They're obviously not going to not tell them who their teacher is when they get to school, so ah. they'll figure it out. Let me see, let me brush out your hair. Turn around. I did the girl's hair like an hour ago, so it's already looking a little messy. And of course, you guys, it starts pouring rain like a few minutes before their bus gets here. We are gonna get soaked. I was gonna vlog them getting on the bus, but obviously that's not gonna be happening. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. So Aiden is in his favorite coveted location. Um, I know some of you guys are going to ask why Aiden did not go to school. He has to have an updated IEP before he can attend. So hopefully within the next couple days or next week at some point, he will get to start going to school as well. But he is starting school. He just needs an updated IEP before he can start. But he gets a few extra days with mama, huh? A few extra days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, guys, it is actually the next day. I wanted to come in and go ahead and close out the vlog. I was going to just kind of vlog through the whole day today and then tack it on at yesterday's vlog, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and edit so I can get one up for you guys. And then in the next vlog that you see, I will let the kids tell you how their first day of school went and all of that good stuff. Um, I just got so busy yesterday when they went back and it just... It was just craziness, but they all had a really good day and Narquise was so pumped <laughs> this morning when he woke up and realized he gets to go back to school. So I think it's starting to really sink in with him that school really is like back in session and this is a Monday through Friday type of thing. But anyway, I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And let's see, I've been trying to think of a question of the day lately. I don't know what a good question of the day is. Oh, here's a good one. When you were in school or if you are currently in school, what was your favorite subject? What was the part of the school day that you loved the most? Obviously, my favorite part was lunchtime because that's when I got to socialize with all of my friends and kind of talk a lot. Um, and I was a big, big talker <laughs> in school. Um, but my favorite subject was always reading or history. I had a really, really amazing history teacher all through middle school and he just made history come alive for me. And I think that's one of the big reasons why I really love like old photos photographs and I love documentary. I don't know. I just love anything that is related to history. And obviously I was an English major in high school and I love old literature and I just, I love all of the classics and I love to write. So those, 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 I mixed the word that and those and that came out really weird. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. Comment down below because I want to know what you guys' favorite subject was in school or what your favorite subject is in school because I know some of you guys are still going through this whole school process. So, on a side note, in my last vlog, I asked you guys when you guys were starting school. I had so many of you guys comment and tell me how you were terrified of being bullied this year at school, how you were just dreading going back to school because you kids are mean. And my heart really goes out to you guys because 
I was definitely bullied in school. My last name growing up was Roach. Yes, like the bug. And that was a major, major target for kids to kind of make fun of me and to pick on me. And I was kind of like a loner, like I kind of kept to myself. I had my own little group of friends and I didn't branch out maybe as much as I should have. I wasn't super outgoing. Um, and I was just kind of a target. And I remember one day in elementary school, or no, not elementary school, in eighth grade, so middle school, um, I had a really mean kid. This kid had been making fun of me all year long, and he came to school with a can of Raid, a can of bug spray, and he got me in the hallway and he sprayed me all over with this bug spray. I was soaking wet, I smelled. I remember running to the principal's office in absolute tears. My mom had to come check me out, and I refused to go to school for like three days because I was so completely mortified to go back and face these horribly mean kids. I just wanna encourage you, if you are being bullied, if you are bullied, I know it's hard. And I know it's so hard when you're in that moment. And it's easy to say, oh, be strong and, you know, have confidence in yourself. Those are easy things to say. But when you're in the moment and people are really, and you have other kids, you know, really kind of just beating down on you and really bringing you down, it's really tough to kind of keep that perspective. And I know that. Um, all I can tell you guys is, in 10 years, it won't matter. In 20 years, it won't matter. The horrible people that you are surrounded with right now are not going to matter in your life in the next couple of years. They're not gonna matter. Their opinion does not matter. It's completely irrelevant to you and your success. And I wish that I had had someone to tell me that when I was in middle school because middle school was kind of awful for me. And I had I had really good friends, don't get me wrong, I had really good friends in middle school, but it was just kind of awful at the same time. And I just want to encourage you guys, stay strong, you know, stay confident in yourself. Do not let these horrible bullies bring you down. And more, most importantly, don't ever become a bully yourself. That's something I always tell Zoe. She'll come home and say, mom, this kid was making fun of me. This kid was making fun of me. And I'll always say, you know, honey, I'm really sorry that that happened to you. That was wrong, but you need to always make sure you never ever make fun of that kid back. You don't say horrible, nasty things back to them. You just let it be. You let those words just roll off of you as hard as that may be sometimes because you never want to stoop to their level you never want to be that lowly of a person that you are gonna make fun of other people to try to bring yourself up it's just sad and <clears throat> so many kids do it and I always tell Zoe you know like you don't know what these other kids might be going through at home you don't know what their home life is like you don't know what they're going through and they may be acting out they may be making fun of you to make themselves feel better in some way so you just need to be kind and be a friend even when people are trying to beat you down and be super negative negative. and if you can't be their friend and nothing you do works stay away from them don't talk to them ignore them because they're not worth your time Anyway, I hope that makes sense, but I just wanted to encourage you guys. I know bullies are very, very real, and you guys just break my heart reading some of you guys' comments um, because I've been there. You know, I, I was definitely bullied in school, but I always made it a point growing up to never be mean back, and I wasn't, and I can honestly say that. I really tried my hardest never to be mean back to people. Um, and I think that every kid has their moments, you know, with peer pressure and you, your friends are making fun of this one kid and to fit in, you want to do that too. Try to rise above it because y'all, I'm telling you, speaking from the perspective of a kid who was bullied and who was made fun of, it's awful. It's terrible. Be a friend. Always be a friend. So anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. And I hope you guys have an awesome start of the school year. I know some of you guys haven't started yet. But yeah, comment below. What is your favorite subject? And why is it your favorite subject? Or your favorite part of the day, I guess, when you're in school. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Don't forget, always live to inspire.